Since 1970 in the quartz era, there is no more practical reason to have a mechanical watch. If you're going to buy a mechanical watch, the only reason I can actually see is because it's a work of art. And if it's a work of art, let's really treat it as a piece of kinetic sculpture. We deconstruct traditional watchmaking and reconstruct it into a 3D mechanical piece of art, which gives time, but that's not the point. The point is the mechanical piece of art. This is our uh, watchmaking uh, workshop where our three watchmakers are hard at work. Right next to me is uh, Georges, Alexandre over here on my right and Bertrand on my left. This is Didier Dumas. He's the head of our watchmaking team. Right now he's changing the strap on an HM5 from the standard uh, rubber strap to a prototype leather strap. A typical horological machine will have between 310 and 400 different parts. You'd need about one year to craft every single part, and then you need anything from a week to a month to assemble all those parts. When you know the work, the hours which go into creating a mechanical watch, it's mind-boggling. This is horological machine number three, nicknamed Frog. To get sapphire crystals in that perfectly rounded, perfectly even shape without any distortion was a major challenge. The other big challenge was the domes underneath. We needed to make those domes as light as possible. The aluminum in those domes is paper thin. So the blue rotor you have there is actually winding the watch. HM3 Frog retails for 92,000 US dollars. This is not only figurative art. Think of all the skills you need to manufacture a wheel where the tooth is thinner than a hair. So the whole point of MBNF, F, the friends, is about all these artisans and craftspeople all in Switzerland who manage to come together to create something which is incredible to look at, but also measures time mechanically. This is horological machine number four. We were kids uh, building model airplanes and hence these two jet engines or turbines. Most movements are derived from an existing movement and you simply modify it. This particular movement was designed entirely from scratch. The entire section here starts out as one solid piece of sapphire crystal. It requires 185 hours of machining for just one piece. We make to a month. This particular variation is just eight pieces. The retail price is 230,000 US dollars. Every machine has a different watch box. When you order an HM5, this is the way it would actually be delivered in its own little garage, since it is a little sports car for the wrist. The idea behind HM4 was an airplane, therefore the watch box is like the throttle. What's important for me is to be able to create what I believe in, craftsmanship, that incredible imagination, that incredible technology behind it. Watchmaking gave me a purpose. It gave me something I loved, and I'm just experimenting.